yeah, like I said, the video kind of cuts off by itself. But what was I saying? I think I got cut off. But like I said, I usually don't like so doing commentary while doing this at the same time. This is new for me, so. Agent Calavera and two guests. So yeah. So I'm gonna try to talk as much as I can, and try to not be just like uh 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 in life, you know. All right, so let's uh, what do I have in my hands? All right, just take out the molds. And talk to April first. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. Right. Now, time to give him the eggs, and I should be—that should be it. I should be done with this area. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Agent Calavera, you are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. you must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find him. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. All right. Now we, we've done. Blood right. <laughs> is my friend. Why are you crying, Maddie? Oh, Maddie! They fired me. <laughs> You don't understand, Manny. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods. Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. So now we gotta go get his heart. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here because he's loud. Oh no. Ooh, ick. Shoot! Okay, so. For what I remember to get his heart, you had to pick up some bones. I guess I could always use a spare. And uh, throw it at this thingy. Soup's on! Huh. They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. And then you use your scythe. Why? Because you get to launch it. Like bam. Oh, poor spiders. No more demon heart to eat. Alright. Uh. I guess the good thing, like I said, the good thing earlier is like I can just wait a vent while playing this game, and I think it's true. Problem is I gotta be careful what I say because I don't want to say something fucking completely stupid. Like, I guess the good thing is I can just straight up edit that shit out. I don't know. Heart, heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart! Heart is good! Strong! Beat him good, heart! Hey, is that my car? Mr. Lamaze, I assure you the missing woman will be found. 
I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna just get out the car for the shit. Alright, let me just get out real quick. So that scene that you just saw where that guy got shot, like, first of all, the idea of killing somebody in the land of the dead is kind of redundant because they're fucking dead already. So I think they made it like a really clever idea of, like, flowers, like, if you, like, ah, shit. Like, I remember in the commentary, they, they actually gave a good explanation of why it's flowers, because the idea of flowers being beautiful and stuff, but then, in this lifetime, seeing flowers is actually kind of, like, dreadful and stuff. And then that push that brings up the line of pushing up daisies, like you know when you bury somebody like they're under not least third and like sometimes flowers. I don't know, I thought it was clever, and I thought it was pretty good. So like I said earlier about not knowing what the fuck to do. Um I just got, I just, re, I just remembered to put it in that exact spot. Because if you put it anywhere else, it will not do that. It will just spin around and then you will just go through all these like holes and it will just keep like taking you fucking circles and shit. Hey, like, oh. wait a second. So yeah. At that, like I said, this, I like this game. Puzzles, they don't explain a lot, which is not bad. I kind of like it. You get, makes you like think a little bit it's like an old way of playing it's like an old school way like nowadays games fucking tell you everything what to do and my phone is ringing so I'll be right back uh, all right well things happen during that cut hope it's actually the next day yay I don't even know what it, what did I do last. Well, the reason the reason the reason they got cut is it's actually during the last interruption. I think it happened yesterday. I forgot to turn on my mic, and that wouldn't be that bad. Problem is, I I got up to the second like chapter. I guess I got all the way to Ru Rubakava, and I and then when I realized, oh shit, I didn't save. I'm like, fuck. So, yeah, and so I had to basically load up my last save. Y'all just get in the car while I'm talking. So I had to load up my last save data. And that was all up back in when um, I got locked up in that, in the garage. So I had to replay all of that again, get like the birds, get the teeth stuff, and then get here and then get his heart. So yeah, I just had to replay a whole bunch of it. It was frustrating as fuck, and I was like, you know, fuck, I'm done recording for today. And like, and like I said, I did all this stuff. I already did this. 
And I already gave you what I had to say, so I have to say it again. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Alright, so like I was saying, I already did this part. And like I said last time, I, I for, for a while I had no idea what the fuck to do. Cause I remember doing it before, I just don't remember what. And I, you ha like, the thing is, you have to turn it off like this. And then Glass does this. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balance it turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on! I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. And just like last time, just be a dick. Hey, Manny! What are you doing? So, like I said, Demon Valley. That didn't do what I had hoped. So like I said, I only had like a few hundred minutes until... Because like I said, the last... I only like got like eight minutes for like this one episode that yesterday. So I'm going to record like five, like three more minutes or something. Just to get like 15 minutes equal. I mean, I'm still going to keep playing. I just need to know when to... I'm just going to stop. Like right here and say that... What you have to do... Is basically see like those like four little things moving back and forth underneath... Um, Gladys. You have to get each side to be in a sync with each other and to move back and forth. And to do that is you get a, you move this wheelbarrow over these lines. Uh, and I'll do that. It is a cut, that means either I went over time or I was super frustrated how to do it. So basically like, you use the wheel to move over like this. Yeah, this is uh, kind of a little frustrating, so. So there's probably gonna be a cut right about. Alright, I'm back. And then, yeah, just watch this. What the fuck? Manny, until now, we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on, we saw like eagles. Yeah. I have my brothers Eagles back, so I'm gonna have to do another cut. Pogo Yay! Oh, this this will be quick. Probably not doorbell right about now. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? Alright, gonna pause again.